Meanwhile, North Korea has stepped up its criticism of the U.S. after Washington rejected its offer to cancel joint military drills with South Korea in exchange for a temporary suspension of nuclear tests. The North has also cautioned the U.S. against meddling in inter-Korean affairs, blaming it for stirring up confrontation on the peninsula. Hwang Songi reports. After offering to temporarily suspend its nuclear tests for an end to joint South Korea-U.S. military drills, North Korea proposed direct talks with the United States. In a press conference on Tuesday, North Korea's deputy ambassador to the U.N. said it was willing to explain the offer, but claimed Washington's rejection reflected its hostility. The United States has shown once again that they will continue to increase or take military capabilities in the South Korea while requesting us to not to have our own national defense capabilities. Seoul and Washington insist their annual training exercises, scheduled for March, are defensive in nature. But Pyongyang sees them as a practice for war. In its state-run Dodong Shimun newspaper on Wednesday, North Korea advised the U.S. to step out of inter-Korean affairs. The paper claimed that Washington has always stirred up confrontation whenever there were signs of easing tensions on the Korean peninsula. It called on South Korea to work together with the North to counter the American interference. Analysts see this as part of North Korea's efforts to increase pressure on Seoul. President Park Geun-hye and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un had both expressed their willingness to improve ties in the new year. But while North Korea blames Washington for disturbing the mood for dialogue, it has yet to respond to South Korea's offer for talks, which was made over two weeks ago. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.